All right, what's up, everybody? Today on Tools in Action, we're talking about the DXH165 FAV. What's the FAV for, Eric? It means it's your favorite heater. It's your favorite heater. Now, DeWalt is, uh, you know, DeWalt's known in the industry, they're construction, so these heaters are designed to be out on the construction site, beat to heck. We just did the DX, DXH165, which was 165,000 BTU kerosene heater, and then we did the uh, DXH, uh, I think it's... 14 something, I don't know. The electric one. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to write that article, but Eric went ahead and wrote it, and I didn't actually like his article. Yours was like two sentences long. Yeah, I didn't like your article. No. You, you None were, of my articles you were, are good. You weren't in through. <laughs> I know. I, that's why I don't go to toolsandaction.com because I read his articles. I can't. Yeah. So don't worry, you guys. I'll be coming back with some quality content. Oh, uh, I can't wait for the day that you start writing. I'm coming. I'm going to start writing too. Actually, you know what? Last night I was up till like four in the morning because I have a cold. And uh, I wrote uh, mostly the the, uh, the impact, the Ingersoll Rand. Oh, did you? Nice. 7140 or whatever it Good is. Good job, man. Yeah, thanks. I'm proud, I'm proud Do of not you. touch me. I am proud of you very All right. much so. Do not touch me. I am proud. Eric, I just come on. Say it. Okay, well, thanks. Uh, okay, this runs off a 40 pound tank, and that's because. And that's minimum you can run. Right. And only reason because it, it's got a lot of draw and it needs that big tank. Now, they do have a kit. This one's for Mr. Heater right here. Two, uh, so you can hook two 20 pound tanks up and run this. Gotta say, it's quiet. We did have a Mr. Heater contractor series before in here, um, which is pretty much the kind of like the same unit, except for that was just 75 or 125. This has a dial adjustment right on it, so you can be low and then turn it up. Eric, what do you think of this? I like this one. This one's actually got a quiet barrel technology that it uses, and you can definitely tell the difference between the other Mr. Heater that we had that was 125, and when this is all the way at 125. This one is definitely a lot quieter. I mean, you can night and, and day. And it is. We're going to fire it up right now here on Tools in Action. There you go. Eric's a firefighter. Don't Point worry about it. it. Hold on. It's no, but I like this. And now you can, on high, you could, but you get about okay. seven hours of run time with this thing. Put your head in there. Tell me if it turns on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right, you so get about, yeah, seven seven hours on high off of running two tanks. Off of a 40 pound tank. Yeah. So basically. Yep. So all you're gonna do is he's gonna hold the igniter in. You gotta hold it in for a few seconds. Okay. And that's all the way up. I mean Right, and then like uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. But then we can turn it down. Man, that's hot. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyways, unplug it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, I don't want to mess around with the heater. You're not supposed to have it up here. It's supposed to be on the floor. But uh, stick your head in there, Eric. No, but the it is. probably like, ah! Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> no, you always want to be safe around heaters. Uh, you know, don't have nothing near the barrel, around don't the unit. Don't the barrel, leave yeah. these unattended. This is not an unattended heater. Um, but, you know, yeah. for the shop here, Eric has a one-car garage, and he can come out here and work now, and, you know. It does a nice job. I just like the fact that it's not loud. The other one I had is really loud, so then by the time I have that on, by the time I put in the music, I, I can't, I'm deaf by the time I get out. So this one's quieter, and that, that's a huge plus for me, plus the variable speed on there. Yeah, when you're listening to your Christmas music. Eric listens yeah. to Christmas music 24-7 around I do. here. Even in the middle of July. He does. He loves it. You come in, <laughs> sleigh bells ring. Well, that and polka music. Poker. Uh, no, nice big industrial fan on the back. Gotta like it. Uh, something from DeWalt. You know, there's nothing I really do not like about this unit. No, and I definitely suggest getting one of these kits. I mean, I like it. The, I was at first a little drawn back because I'm like, yeah, 40-gallon tank. Where am I going to get those, especially if you run out at 2 in the morning? But then that's where Dan told me about this thing. So that's huge. So if well, you, you go out, to like a U-Haul place station. and they fill that tank. But I'm saying like two in the morning, or right. if I'm working out here. Yeah, know, and I agree with Eric. That is a down part of it. But you have but to buy the this. kit. So you have to buy something extra. It yeah. would be nice if it just ran off a 20 pound tank. I mean, you but can. But I don't think you'll get the heat. Yeah, you might I not. Don't I don't know. But you, I mean, they don't recommend it, so we're not even going to go into why you can't. But I yeah. know you can, um, but that tank gets all like frosted over. The other Mr. Heater one I had, that was a 40 gallon one, and I'd always run it off a 20. I'm not saying do it, don't do it at all. It's not meant to do that. But mine would it'd get all you know, frost it up like you were saying and that and so. Yeah. So cool stuff. Don't forget to click the like button down there because you like it. Don't forget to click on uh, subscribe sub right there. Subscribe, power tool forum, all that good stuff. Uh, oh, DeWalt Owners Group is getting merged with toolsandaction.com. So we'd like to thank everybody that was part of DeWalt Owners Group. All, yep. all your accounts and info will be merging over as soon as this guy gets around. Mr. Excuses here to doing it. Actually, I'm done with my part. Now it's all on yours. Why? Now you you talked to him? 
Yeah, I sent them an email. I got it all set. It's going to get merged over. But you got to tell them how you want to set up, where you want it. See how it's stuff. always something that I got to do? This is Mr. Excuses right here, no I matter what. I did my part. No I matter did my what. part. You asked me to contact them and do that. Just get so it I done. That. That's all I want. Just get I, it done. You are the computer guy. Dude, what do you do for a living?